Damar Hamlin recovered from cardiac arrest Monday night in Cincinnati. But nowhere near the extent, of course, of those closest to him, his family and his teammates, who received some very welcome news today as Hamlin passed another significant point of his recovery, getting his breathing tube removed. News that Hamlin was able to share with his teammates directly via FaceTime. That we had a treat in store. Um, it was just, uh, you could see the look on their eye in anticipation of what was probably coming. And, and then uh, to get the Zoom, and when he came on the screen, um, and Sabani, our assistant trainer, has done a phenomenal job out there um, helping facilitate that this morning as well. And to, to see the players' reaction, um, they stood up right away and, and, and clapped for him and, you know, yelled some things to him. And it was a pretty, pretty cool exchange for a few seconds there. Yesterday, walk in there uh, at 7 in the morning, and Dr. Knight comes in and is like, you're not going to believe it. Like he's responding to commands. He's given us, you know, he's still intubated, but he's given us, you know, signals with his hands and he's nodding. And, um, you know, I wanted to go back there then. He's like, hey, we got to, we, uh, we're going to talk through a few things where we're at. But we got back there around eight to Bonnie and Nate and myself and just able to hug him and the grip strength that he had. Um, you know, I told Mario, I said, I'm not a crier, but uh, man, it was, uh, it was emotional and, and, a lot, of, a lot of grown men in there crying yesterday, but uh, I'll, it's something I'll never forget. Well, as Hamlin continues to grow stronger, so does the tribute to him outside the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Fans continuing to drop off tokens of their thoughts and well wishes for the Bills' safety. Coley Harvey now with more from Cincinnati. According to outside physicians who I've spoken to the last several days, now that DeMar Hamlin's breathing tube has been removed, the next step is an evaluation period, one that typically lasts from 12 to 24 hours. During that period, doctors are trying to see just how well he's breathing on his own. If they are satisfied at that time, they will move him from the ICU to the general floor. That's something that could happen as early as Friday night or Saturday morning again, if all goes well. While he's on that general floor, his status would be upgraded from critical condition to stable condition. He's been critical since he arrived at this hospital on Monday night. While he's in those rooms, he will be evaluated further. The testing will go on in order for the doctors to try to determine just what caused this cardiac arrest event. Because of this, it appears as if DeMar Hamlin right now is out of the woods. That's welcome news for this family that has been by his side this entire week and a family that Bill's general manager Brandon Bean on Friday called some of the strongest people he's ever met. In Cincinnati, I'm Coley Harvey, ESPN.